Hi, I'm Paul Peterson, your host for Aging Well in L.A. Now, we've been away for a few weeks, but I hope you were catching the program that took our time slot. It was called On the Move with Dr. Scott Kaiser. It was a wonderful experience. We had great participants, 12 of them, and learned a lot about health and fitness for seniors. During the production, Dr. Scott got to meet some real fitness pioneers, and I know you'll enjoy hearing from them. So please stay tuned. During the production of On the Move, Dr. Scott got to meet two remarkable women. I'd like you to meet them now. Elaine Lillane, Jack's widow, and Patricia Bragg, who runs a company that produces nutritional fitness drinks and a host of other products. So, Dr. Scott, take it away. I'm here with Patricia Bragg of the Bragg family. Bragg Family Health, thank you so much for joining us. Please tell us a little about, a bit about your lifetime commitment to health and fitness. Oh, I love being a health crusader. I'm Dr. Patricia Bragg, health crusader to the world. I love it, live it, and preach it. Healthy living. And this is what it's about. My father, Paul Bragg, was the originator of health food stores in 1912. And you know, people thought, this man Bragg is crazy. He says you are what you eat and drink, why you can eat and drink anything you want. And he said you should exercise your 640 muscles. Oh, a lot of people said, I'm lazy, I like to just sit. Well, Paul Bragg was the father of the health movement in America. He started health food stores, health restaurants, spas, introduced juicing to America. And this is the Bragg Healthy Lifestyle. You are what you eat, what you drink, what you breathe, what you say, what you do with your 640 muscles, and that's it. You are what you eat, drink, breathe, think, say, and do. And when you live your life healthy and peaceful, it's so wonderful. Tell us a little bit about using those mu muscles, those great pumps in our oh, body. Oh, yes. You know, your heart is your master pump. And you know what it's doing all day long and all night long? It's pumping the river of life, your blood throughout your body. And so remember, you have your master pump and you have two upper pumps, your arms. Wow, and I use my arms. And I love weight training and exercise. And then you have your two legs. So you have five pumps in all, and you need to work them and exercise them. And that's why it's so important for people, not only the youth of the world, but the adults of the world and seniors. It's a proven fact that seniors, even over 80, if they exercise, do weight training, walking, they live longer, they're healthier and more fit. That's why we believe in the merits of being physically fit and exercising. So remember, when you sit down to a big meal, did you earn it? Did you exercise? Did you get out and walk? Walking is the king of exercise. And when you walk, swing your arms and, and then put your hands on your shoulder right now, but health, strength, youth, vitality. We are here at the Bragg Organic Farm and this farm is all organic. No chemical sprays, no chemical fertilizer. Go organic, don't panic. And I teach everybody to have their own victory garden. You can start, and if you don't have a garden, have a window box, you see? Or you can, right now, cities all over America are having community gardens and you can get in and you can grow your own foods, and it's wonderful. We have 300 varieties of fruit trees, 300 varieties. We have all different types of lemons. We have five varieties of avocados. We have varieties of all the various fruits, apricots, peaches, 
you name it, we have it. Artichokes, asparagus, herbs, potatoes, garlic, you name it, as I said, we have it. We're trying to encourage older people to get active, stay active. What kind of words uh, would you have for them? I don't care what your age is, you can get physically fit by exercising. It's never too late. And a study was done by the United States government with people over 80 in nursing homes. And they started them with light weights and exercising and deep breathing, and they 80% of them got years younger. Oh, here's Charlie. There's Charlie, my rooster. And he has eight girls. This is, this is farm life, farm life. And I, I love living simple. Since I've been a little girl, I've had my feet in the soil and my hands in the soil. A lot of us watching aren't on farms. So how we can bring farm life and some of the good values of, of farm life into our own lives. Well, in the first place, I want you all to keep your life as simple as one, two, three. Most people complicate their lives. I want you to realize you are what you eat and drink. It's as simple as that. But I want you to earn your food by exercise, deep breathing, good posture. I never slump. I walk tall, I sit tall, and I'm five feet tall. And so I want you all, when I sit down, I never sit with my legs crossed. It's very bad for the circulation. You have a major artery in the back of every knee. Just remember that. And so therefore, when you sit with your legs crossed, you're putting a burden on your heart because your heart should pump trying to get the river I mean the river of blood, down to your foot. And when you have it impeded like that, it can't get through. So no more sitting with your legs crossed, sit up straight. And when you walk, I want you to walk straight. And I want you to realize your left toe, your left toe is the captain of your left foot, okay? And the right toe is the captain of your right foot, see it? And so when you walk, you walk straight forward, straight forward, straight forward. It's very important because your feet carry you through life. Now, when you're living in the city, I suggest you walk on the safe streets, on side streets, and do your deep breathing. But try to go on streets with as little car exhaust as possible and try to get in park areas, walk, and I suggest when it's raining, you can go to the supermarket malls that have overhang, and you can get out walk, and I suggest you have the buddy system. I think it's always safe if two of you go together. So I want you to earn your food. I want you to keep your food as simple as one, two, three. I start off in the morning with a pep drink, or you can call it a smoothie. And so if you're in the winter time, you might like another severed grain cereal, you might like rolled oats or oatmeal. And with my oatmeal, I always like putting in raisins or chopped up nuts or chopped up dates. And then for lunchtime, I like salads, I like soups. In the old days, we always had a pot of soup on the stove. I want everybody to be fit and trim and not have an ache or a pain. And I want you to realize you are what you eat, what you drink, what you think, what you say, and what you do. And you want to keep be on the move to be healthy and fit for a long, happy life and longevity. Now, if you were watching On The Move, you got to meet EJ, who talked about nutrition and health. He borrowed the Bragg family kitchen and produced some meals, and you'll get a kick out of this. EJ, take it away. Chef EJ knows the health benefits of a diet rich in vegetables and fruits, and he looks for the freshest locally grown produce to use in his recipes. From the farm to the market, let's go shop for our vegetables today. How's it going today, EJ? Hey, Jared. Tonight I'm going to make a chicken breast dinner, and I was looking at your asparagus here, and I want to pick a good bunch. Yeah, what you're looking for in the bunches of asparagus there is you got it so that no, none of the tips actually are bruised or moved around All there. Right. When it's nice and hard on top, it's ready to go, and that's a good asparagus for okay, you there, Okay, great. Looking Thank for you. anything else today? Yeah, some fresh herbs. Some fresh herbs right over here. In particular, I'm looking for some basil for this recipe tonight. You have exactly that. What you're looking for there, EJ, in some basil, nice and fresh, got nice and green luscious around it there. You don't want 
anything that's going bad on you, and that's a perfect, nice little fresh bunch for you there. Great, thank Looking you. Looking for anything else in that recipe today? Yes, some cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes right over here. Are there any um certain tips or tricks on picking? Yeah, what you want to look for is in a bunch there has nice and dark redness to it there, and it doesn't have any softness. When you squeeze it just a little bit there, it's still nice and hard and firm for you there. So that bunch right there is ready for you. Nice, right sounds there. good, thank you. Anything else you're looking for? Was nope, that, that is it, we're okay. good. Perfect. Another key to staying fit is eating well, and that's why we're gonna hit the kitchen with our health coach on the move. EJ, how you doing today, EJ? Hey, Scott. How you doing? Looking good, what are we cooking up here? All right, we have a garlic and lemon chicken breast. That we went ahead and marinated with basil. So that's a good, oh, nice that's why it smells fragrant. so yeah, good. Yeah, great. And you have all this beautiful produce here? We do. We have locally grown fresh cherry tomatoes. We have our locally grown as well asparagus that I went ahead and marinated uh, in olive oil and topped it off with some garlic. I love that you mentioned locally grown. I know you were hitting the farm stand to get all this beautiful yes. produce. You can really see the difference. It's got so much color and it just looks alive. For sure, for sure. Um, nice and bright red, nice and bright greens that we want. And you can tell the nutrients based off of the color as well. Beautiful, and I'm yeah. sure it's gonna taste just as good. What are you working with here? We have our whole grain brown rice that we're gonna toss up with some feta cheese at the very end. I think that's key that you use brown rice. White rice has a higher glycemic index, so that's important for everybody, but particularly for people with diabetes. You're gonna get a spike in sugar with white rice that you won't get with the brown rice. It's a nice slower release, so you're gonna have better controlled blood sugar and be healthier overall. That's beautiful. So what's next? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just finishing chopping up our herbs that we're gonna go ahead and add in with our chicken as we're cooking. But everything is ready to go. The asparagus is ready for sauteing. The tomatoes, we'll go ahead and chop those up at the very end. But we're ready to start cooking well, our chicken breast. Well, it looks breast. so good. I'm gonna let you get to it. Cooking on the move and I'll, I'll see you when it's time to eat. Great. All right, let's go ahead and take our chicken. Come over here and cook it up. Nice. Chicken breast ready to go. The chicken to brown on both sides. All right. All right, we get that nice sizzle going. Okay. There we go. And we can let that brown on both sides just for a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and get our asparagus and we can get that started as well. And the asparagus, we marinated overnight in olive oil and some garlic. We can just go ahead and saute these. And a light coat of olive oil on the pan. And just let those get nice and green. And if we like, what we can do is the marinade that the chicken was in, we could just pour it on top, let it cook it out as well. Add some of that great juicy flavoring to our chicken. No one likes a dry chicken breast. All right, so there we go. Okay, so we can lower the heat for the veggies. Let those finish. And we can get started on our tomatoes for our rice. All right, we have our nice ripe cherry tomatoes. And with these, we're just gonna chop these little buddies in half. All right, so that way they are open. So we can get more flavor as we um, add it into our rice. So we're gonna add the tomato, a little bit of basil, and some feta cheese to our rice. I know sometimes the switch to brown rice from white rice can be difficult for some. I know for me it definitely was. And, um, but over time, you learn to love it. You learn to, um, the, it's an acquired taste, but it's definitely delicious once you know how to prepare it right. Okay, we just get our rice, toss it up. Adding our cherry tomatoes. Some of that fresh basil. A little bit of feta. Okay. Just mix that in nice together. And at the very end, we'll add it all together on our plate with our chicken and our asparagus. Okay, looks like our chicken is done. Very nice, perfect. Nice golden brown on the top. Nice and firm. Got our herbs cooked into it. Wow. 
<laughs> Delicious. Okay. You can serve this on a hot plate right here. Chicken. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna serve it with our rice on the side. Our whole grain brown rice. Again with the cherry tomatoes and feta with herbs. Okay. Alright, and then we'll finish off with our asparagus. All right, there we go. All right, so after just a quick, simple, easy steps of marinating some chicken, cooking some brown rice, sauteing some asparagus, we have a nice, healthy, and hearty, lean chicken dinner. Saving energy is simple. It even saves you money. Replace incandescent light bulbs with compact fluorescent bulbs. Set your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher in the summer. Weather seal your home. When replacing old appliances, select Energy Star qualified appliances that are up to 40% more efficient and unplug electronic devices when not in use. Visit LADWP.com for more energy saving tips and information. Save energy, save money. Did you know that more than 80% of false alarms are related to preventable user errors, such as open windows or pets? Any motion can trigger an alarm. Thousands of police patrol hours are wasted investigating alarm reports that turn out to be false alarms. That's crime-fighting time lost. Make sure your alarm is working properly. Now we're going to go back to Dr. Scott as he continues the conversation with Elaine LaLanne. Well, I'm honored to be here with Mrs. Elaine LaLanne, wife of the famous, inspirational, outstanding Jack LaLanne and a fitness pioneer herself. Thank you so much for joining oh, us yeah, today. Thank you. You know, um, a lot of people call me Lala, you know. And say, this is Elaine, Elaine, this is LaLaine, LaLaine. Oh, Jack says, oh, just call her Lala. Like, I like that, Lala. I, th <laughs> I thought to myself, I don't want to say that six times fast. But <laughs> no. <laughs> so honored to have you here. Thank you. I love, I mean, every I'm honored to be here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about getting on the move. We've right. had a group of sedentary couch potatoes. Average oh, yeah. age 66, spring chickens, really, right? Yeah. And we've been talking to them, showing them new ways to get active and stay active. Great. And it's just unbelievable. You've been preaching this message for, for yeah. a lifetime. Well, you know, when I first met Jack, and it was in the, uh, the 19, early 1950s, and I, I was a, really a junk food junkie, and I was eating bear claws and chocolate donuts, and, <laughs> and I was smoking cigarettes and all that stuff. And, and uh, when Jack started his show at KGO TV, I had been on uh, since 1948. On, a, on an hour and a half show every day. And, um, and he started, and when he came in, you know, he was, oh, he was Mr. Dynamite. I mean, he, if you knew Jack, he would just dynamite. And so he, <clears throat> he used to, I used to walk by his desk, we were in the newsroom, and um, I walked by his desk in the morning with my cigarette and my wonder who's gonna cancel the day because I was programming this hour and a half show and appearing on it. Right. And he came over to my desk and he said, you should be eating apples and bananas and the oranges. I didn't like it. I wouldn't tell you this. I went, oh yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> sassy. But he was. But he brought a man over with a very big corporation out to here. He was a guard over at a bank over in Oakland, California. He says, oh, I'm going to take 30 pounds off of that man in 30 days. And guess what? That man lost 30 pounds in 30 days. And I went home. I used to swim in the Minneapolis Hopka Follies, and. I went home and I took a look at myself in the mirror and I said, oh my goodness, the sands of time are shifting. And so I said, he's got a point. So I stopped smoking cigarettes. I started broiling everything mm. I used to fry. I listened to what he had to say. 
and he had a little extra size class in, at noon and at the studio. Right. And I did all that stuff. Within a month, I saw my life change, and I've been a convert ever since. Well, I mean, he was once a junk food eater, too, right? Right, and right. And that's when he saw Paul Bragg. You know, his he was dropped out of school for six months. And um, his mother, uh, they were living next door to a lady by the name of Mrs. Joy, who turned out to be a joy <laughs> in his life. Because he. what happened was, uh, Mrs. Joy said, there's a man speaking at the Oakland City Women's Club, and he's talking about health and nutrition and everything. Let's go down in here. So drag Jack down. He had boils, pimples, arch supports, and glasses, and 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 they and Paul Bragg was, was up at the up at the on the on the stage, and he said yeah. they turned around because there was no seats, and he says. Lady with the little boy, we don't turn anybody away here. He said, ushers, bring up two seats and put them up on the stage. And that's. And he said he was so humiliated because he looked so bad. At, but but he, he was to say one thing. I don't care what your age is. I don't care what your physical condition is. You can be reborn again. And that changed Jack's life. That's right. A and whole that's lifetime message that's about transformation. His transformation. And my your transformation. transformation. And then just and then, contagious. I mean, the transfer. Right. He must have touched so many lives. That's right. And you know what? He. Uh, everybody asked me, well, how did you get together? And I said, well... We danced at a company party, and we've been dancing ever since. <laughs> okay. Now, now you mentioned transformation. I see you have these pictures here. Yes, okay, right. Okay, where uh, we're looking at your life over the years together, working, right. sharing this fitness message. I mean, it's unbelievable to see. Uh, what's it like to look at these through the well, years? Well, I look at, I look at uh, you know, there's Jack on the television. That, there's one back there where I'm just standing like this. And that was, uh, that was er really early when we first met. And then the other ones, you'll see it, one with uh, uh, standing on his knees. I'm, I'm standing here and, and standing on his knees. And one is... One is in 1960 and the other one is in 1990. 30 is that years right? difference. 30 years but difference. See, but look at that. If I hadn't been eating properly and exercising, I would have I would have looked like and I was what was I in 1990? I was uh, in 1986. I was 60. So that's so in 1990 <laughs> I was 60, whatevers. Um, so anyway, you can see I'm I'm in the middle 60s right, right there. You know what Jack always used to say? He say something is better than nothing. Oh, I like you know? that. I and, like and you that. Know, all right, if you're a couch potato or a chair potato, I will sit yeah, back in your chair. All right, yeah, we're sitting back in our chairs. Down with you, scoot okay, down scooting down. Okay, hold on here. Holding okay, on. now what I'm going to do, we're going to just lift. Now, if you can lift both knees into your chest, great. Okay, but let's start out with let's one knee into the one. chest. And then this knee into the chest. Okay, now both knees into the chest. Okay. Okay, and out and in and out and in. That's a that's wonderful for the. Oh my! We should be know, doing the bicycle. The bicycle. This is the bicycle. Oh, you feel this okay. in your in your tummy you here? Know, you feel that? Oh, in the breathing. I oh, feel like sure. I could add some yeah. breathing to this. Yes. And my heart's getting yeah. racing. Yeah. That's right. So that, that's another exercise. You know, <clears throat> we had a lady watching the show one one time, and she wrote this letter, uh, and then she said. Jack, I've been watching your show for 10 years, and that 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 chair hasn't lost a pound. <laughs> too much, too Jack much. Jack had a great sense now, of humor. Now, see, I'd love to go back and look at these archives. I mean, so it, it's just unbelievable. I, well, we have volumes. I have, uh, we have all these volumes of his uh, uh, of his shows. We have like like five shows uh, Monday, Tuesday through Friday, and we have we have like we're working on. Uh, we've got thousands of them, but. Yeah. We, we've got eight volumes ready to go, so that's 40 shows uh, of his old shows. So, and no, they've never been seen since the early so, days. So tell me again, if I'm, in, I'd love to go back and see some of these great archives. Where, where I can think, I see this? Well, where I, can I find well, this? We, we're showing the shows on our, our website right now. Oh, which uh, website's w, that? www.jacklalane.com. And, and Lalane is spelled L-A-L-A-N-N-E. <laughs> but if you try, if you only put one N in, it's not going to work. So you got to put Lalane. That's right. So anyway, I. But they I, have these great. So you brought he, some of these yeah, along. Yeah. Well, I brought. Videos? Yeah, I brought the. Uh, this is Jack and I with Forever Young. That's special. And then so then forever, I, these are some of. This is what the, 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 they look like. The old shows. Yeah, but then I brought but some. But well, hold like, on for a second. Yeah. This Forever Young. Yeah. Exercise at any age. That's right. I mean, this is exactly what we've been talking about. Right. I right. mean, this is my job as a geriatrician. Yeah. 
caring for older people, thinking about healthy aging, how yeah. do we get there? It's well, exercise at any, any age. age. Yes. Well, I've got, uh, I got nutrition tips in there too. Oh, you know, fantastic. We got some recipes in fantastic. there Fantastic. And then these, yeah. there are some great books, so Revitalize Your, your life. life. This tells a lot about Jack's life. And then this is talk about right your life. On this is his here. latest book. This is, this is just before he passed away. He, uh, this, this came out just about a year before he passed away. So this is a great book, too. Live Young Forever, forever. Yeah. 12 Steps mm. to Optimum Health, Fitness, and Longevity. That's right. I mean, I couldn't have, I, I, I'm inspired by the title. Yeah. Now tell me, so, I, you know, I was sorry to hear, he was, we were all sorry to hear yeah. of his passing. Well, he, <laughs> he, uh, he's probably up there working out the angels and everybody <laughs> else up there. He, well, he was on his way to 97, and, and he wanted to try to live to be 100, but uh, he got pneumonia, and, uh, and it just didn't work out. But, I, I understand. But he didn't suffer or anything, and he worked out right to the end. So See, that's what we're that's always good. talking about. It's about health and quality of life. Quality and, you know, of life. And that's the opportunity right. to maintain your independence. That's and right. And stay fit and stay active and enjoy every moment of this That's precious right. life. And he I mean, was right up to the end. He was he was uh, fit right up to the end. So you think that same kid eating the junk food or you smoking the cigarettes and eating the bear claws, you think that the, the story would turn out the same way? Well, I don't know what I look like today. I, if I hadn't met Jack, I probably wouldn't even be here <laughs> at 86. Uh, so I just, I I think he he's the one that inspired me. and. I'm sure he's inspired a lot of people out there too. Yeah. Well, but I do hope they watch the w website. I mean, he's so dynamic in what he has to say. I mean, when Jack says something, you, he listens. <laughs> you listen. <laughs> well, really, a dynamic hero and inspiration to us all. And thank you for continuing to inspire us. Thank you for joining us on the move. It's thank been you. such a pleasure. And you know what? We want to have everybody keep moving. And as I said before, and I've yeah, said let's it. Yeah, say it. And Jack always always says this. On, on everyone, uh, uh, every interview that he ever did, anything in life is possible and you can make it happen. Can we try that together right, now okay, that I okay. got it? Ready? Uh, so right. what? Anything, anything in life is possible and you can, can make, make it happen. happen. Oh okay. my gosh, hearing it here er, every time, it's just such a joy to me with words of wisdom like this. Before you know it, I think we'll all be on the, the move. move. <laughs> well, that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it and got some useful information. Please join us the next time. Bye-bye. Aging Well in LA is presented by the Los Angeles City Department of Aging, whose sole purpose is to provide community-based services to seniors and their family caregivers to maintain their loved one's independence so they can age with dignity and respect. Los Angeles City Department of Aging was recently presented with two innovation awards and an Aging Achievement Award by the National Association of Area Agencies on Aging. These awards recognize the department's programs that showcase innovative and successful aging services. The programs honored are the ExerGamers Wellness Club, a partnership with Microsoft Corporation that also garnered a top prize in innovation, and Project Care a program matching city employees with seniors in need during the holiday season. The Los Angeles Wellness Center's network was recognized with an Aging Achievement Award. These awards recognize the Los Angeles Department of Aging's efforts to improve the quality of life for seniors in the Los Angeles area.